Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to revise the high yield points of a common childhood infection, measles. Measles is caused by a single stranded RNA virus, which is helical and enveloped, called paramyxovirus. The virus always spreads through the respiratory route. The paramyxovirus has the ability to cause the formation of multinucleated giant cells and syncytium formation. This property is similar to that of the herpes virus. The first sign of measles appears around 10 to 15 days after exposure to the virus. Coplic spots are tiny spots like grains of sand which are found on a red erythematous background on the inner lining of the cheeks, also known as buccal mucosa. These spots always appear before the onset of rash. Over few days, the other symptoms of measles appear. You can easily remember there are three C's and one P. Since it spreads through the respiratory route, the first symptom is cough, accompanied by coryza or a runny nose. The third C stands for conjunctivitis and P stands for photophobia. The skin lesions that appear are a maculopapular rash made up of large, flat blotches that often flow into one another. The rash first begins years down and spreads through the rest of the body. A complication of this infection is giant cell pneumonia where large cells called Wartenfinkelde cells are observed. Measles are always diagnosed clinically because of their characteristic features. The condition is usually self-limiting and only supportive care is provided. Measles is prevented by the administration of the MMR or measles mumps rubella vaccine, which is a live attenuated vaccination that is compulsory for all children. I hope this video helps you remember everything important about measles. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.